Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is a massive, and when I say massive, it is probably bigger than two Eiffel Towers on top of each other. It is massive. This is all about Plopsalandi Pan. Now, we've covered for months, nearly a year and a half probably, on this new Extreme Spinning Coaster, the first Extreme Spinner in Europe from Matt Rides, opening this year in 2021. What we did know about was the confirmed name and theme. However, today, that has been revealed. It has been announced, it's been completely unveiled, we are going to be seeing the Ride of Happiness. This is the brand new theme in collaboration with the Tomorrowland Music Festival in Belgium. So that's been an, that's an event that originated back in 2005, I believe. And this is uh, a massive music festival in Belgium called Tomorrowland. They've collaborated with Pops Under Pan to create this new uh, attraction, the Ride of Happiness, which is the official name of the coaster. So we're going to be analysing all the different concept images for you guys and share my thoughts on this new attraction. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the case bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Don't forget guys, you can submit your video ideas using the Google Forms link in the description down below. Uh, we're going to be releasing loads of different videos, so if you've got an idea for maybe a next five years video, or a review, or a fact file, or a news update, or maybe you've got some reaction video ideas, because don't forget we are launching the brand new Coast Child React series. Uh, we've, oh, I've already recorded a reaction video, it's quite a sombre one, so that one's going to be more uh, helping raise awareness. But if you've got any reaction videos, that's, uh, f videos to react to, sorry, which is funny, or heartwarming or stuff that raises awareness of a social issue whether it's an advert or a set of adverts or a set of public safety information videos or meme videos to have a good laugh on, under lockdown then please 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 use the Google Forms link submit all those video ideas and let's get creative also guys check the links in the description down below where you can find links to the news report on this information and also Links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can be part of the channel and interactive videos in the future by using the Discord server and interacting with other Coast of Shell members and members of the Chell Nation. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the concept images and all the information surrounding the Ride of Happiness. So here we go then. Did I say the ride from happiness? It's the ride to happiness, of course, from Plopsalandi Pan. Uh, opening in summer 2021, so we're probably it's going to be between May and July. Um, or maybe August. Maybe that's uh, a month that's included in that list. Um, so from the original poster, I mean, look at that poster. I mean, it just, it, look, it screams colour. I think what it does, it screams colour, it screams beauty, it screams um, gracefulness, it screams amazing coloured palettes. <laughs> um, but overall, the poster looks amazing and that confirms the name. Tomorrowland presents The Ride to Happiness. So the logo, the official circular logo on your screen, the cog, uh, the golden rusty cog uh, with the eye in the middle, with the butterfly as well, and uh, the sort of cogs turning with this particular logo. And the butterflies in the background, I love butterflies. Um, but yeah, the logo design is very, very cool. I love the, the light streams going around in different directions around the circle. That's a pretty cool way of doing it. Um, so overall the logo itself looks amazing and fair play to Pops Under Pan for doing that. Next up the concept art of the official area, you can see the big green building there, uh, you can see the station building around there as well, uh, you can see a canopy structure around there and all, a bridge, you know it's all there in loads of colour on the concept art. Uh, there's a canopy structure around there as well. There's, there's two canopy structures. There's a brown one, then there's that blue and white one near towards the, the buildings as well. And uh, the queue line for this ride, I'm sure, is going to be uh, around the area as well. And overall, it looks like a very colourful, bright area. And I think from the concept arts, you guys are going to love how much colour there is uh, involved in the specific uh, moments around the surrounding area of the Rallergeister. So first up, what you've all been waiting for, the finished concept art for the station building. Oh my giddy auntie, 
This looks incredible. Uh, <laughs> um, you can see like a classic stairwell going in there. Then you'll be able to go up a floor and you'll be there on the station platform. I mean, this just screams of amazement this screams of incredible nature um i love the classic vintage style of the the station building the classic vintage color scheme of it as well that it, it's got like church style windows or stained like it's like they look like stained glass windows at the top there don't it <laughs> um but yeah it, overall the lighting in this station is amazing you can see the nice jojo roll coming out of the station at the start of the ride um, so, I mean, overall, it just looks amazing, and the classic vintage style of the building with the Tomorrowland steampunky aspects added into it looks incredible, and overall, they've done a really good job uh, with the station building. Next image on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dozy, and that is the double staircase. Now, this looks like someone's uh, going the opposite way down the staircase, which says that this could be a... Uh, exit for the ride seems like people are waiting at the staircase. It looks like this is the exit staircase for the ride You can see the the circular logo embedded on the wall uh, in between the two staircase like in the middle of the shot nearly uh, If you change the camera angle around from this concept art, uh, but overall I think the exit staircase again looks incredible Next up on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dozy, and that is the classic surrounding atmosphere of the ride. This is where the bridge is and the, the canopy structure. Oh my goodness gracious Gideanti myself. What a classic design. I mean, the, the fountains on the lake, the canopy structure holding it in the water. I mean, the classic bridge, the lighting. Uh, the top of the canopies, the track running around it and over it, and oh my goodness, Plopsaland have done wonders with this area, and Tomorrowland working with the park. I mean, if anyone from Tomorrowland Music Festival, Festival is watching this, or anyone from Plopsaland Japan, please let me speak to you about this project, because this is amazing. This is literally incredible, and as soon as COVID restrictions are gone, and COVID's completely ex non-existent from our lives, I'm straight down to Belgium and I'm straight down to experience this attraction because this is incredible and I think overall they've done a wonderful job especially with that particular canopy structure uh, involved in the, the area of the ride. Next door back over to the station area and you can see a building right next to the entrance area so um, from the looks of it it looks kind of like um, an, an extra building I mean I've, I've, I feel like that's the, um, or part of the entrance area. I'm not too sure whether it's uh, part of the entrance queue line or not. I'm not entirely sure what this is because you can see like the, the staircase coming out there. I'm guessing that's the end, uh, exit staircase and the one on the opposite side, the double one, the double stairs I'm guessing is part of the entrance or it could be the other way around, I don't know. Um, it's hard to guess at this stage, but... From the looks of it, it looks like you enter through there and it's like a massive building full of theming. So I'm guessing that's maybe like um, a, a toilet block or a, it'd be a very big toilet block. Um, or maybe it's like uh, part of the Q-Line experience, like I said earlier. So maybe that's part of the Q-Line experience. So again, it's very interesting to sort of predict what this could particularly be. Uh, but overall, I think it looks amazing in the way the, 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 the steampunk aspect of it is coming along thick and fast through the concept art. So, very good showing again by Pop Sanderpan with that particular concept image. Penultimate image on your screen, Fan Dabby Dozy, and that is the shop in the area. Now, this looks like a butterfly's grass hill. Uh, it pretty much is, to be honest. Uh, but again, the classic style. It gives me... It kind of gives me vibes to the Princess and the Frog from the Disney theme parks and from the from the Disney uh, brand. It kind of gives me Princess and the Frog, classic, vintage, New Orleans-y, steampunky style elements of it. Just different elements of it plucked together to create this particular area of the park. Now the shop building on the outside looks incredible, but to end the concept image look about, let's have a look inside the actual uh, shop of the area. And just like that, Fan Dabby Dorsey on your screen now is an inside look at the shop. Now this is 
uh, labeling uh, different parts of the shop building itself. I mean, you can see like a big circular structure inside. Uh, very good looking structure, very weird looking structure, but again, gives me steampunk elements and steampunk vibes, uh, along with the, the Tomorrowland Music Festival vibes as well. Uh, you can see different things there on display. You can see like uh, some things on this. You can see like a display to the right of the of the picture. You can see a brown top display i'm guessing that's like ornaments or something on display you can see some shoes on like a desk uh, uh, so opposite the counter sorry the green one and you can see like some shoes on display on this like shelf thing and then where this person's being served the green counter i'm guessing that's like shoes and ornaments as well so i'm guessing it's a very specific type of shop we don't know what it's gonna be it is yet in terms of what they're selling um but from overall from looking at all of this and seeing what um, the whole concept area has been bringing to this. I think overall Popsland should be really proud of themselves of what they've delivered with the Tomorrowland Music Festival to create the overall experience to support the Mac Extreme spinning coaster. So there we go guys, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages, that is analysing the concept arts and the official uh, logo for the brand new The Ride to Happiness, the brand new Tomorrowland Music Festival collaboration with Pops on Japan for their Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. So I'm guessing the whole themed area will be themed around the Tomorrowland Music Festival, uh, it will be all music and things like that, and apparently there's actually going to be a soundtrack composed by film um conductor and composer Hans Zimmer I've listened to Hans Zimmer's work I've been a huge fan of Hans Zimmer's music and I believe it was him that did the Blue Planet 2 soundtrack and you know you guys that follow me on Instagram will know that I went to the Blue Planet 2 concert uh, live in Hull a couple of years ago we got invited to go and that music that I heard with the orchestra and you know the pictures up above the music from Hans Zimmer just worked so well and I've heard other scores from Hans Zimmer as well my giddy ante this is going to be brilliant and I've heard rumours that maybe it could include onboard saw audio on the cars and you know what it wouldn't surprise me because even though we haven't seen that on the extreme spinner yet we've seen that on other spinning coasters look at Dwerwelwind at Toverland they've got onboard audio and music on the cars so imply that technology with the extreme spinning coaster cars it's, it's not that hard to be perfectly honest. I know there's similarities and differences between the two, but it's not too hard to include on board audio. But I'll tell you something now. Pop sign de pan, applaud yourselves, pat yourselves on the back, give yourselves a tub of celebrations to celebrate, because, um, or give yourselves a tub of quality street, whatever you like, because you guys deserve massive praise for this. And Tomorrowland Music Festival, again, buy, buy yourselves a tub of quality street to celebrate, because you've worked on this masterpiece with Pop Sand Pan, and both of you collaborated and created this wonderful experience. And I, like I said, I really can't wait to go out to this one day and experience this myself, because. My God, this could be one of the biggest coasters I've ever done. And probably one of the best coasters I've done in my life. So, overall, I've got no faults with it. The actual name, The Ride to Happiness, it's a weird name. Might get memed, might get cropped. But you know what? I don't care, pal. This looks amazing. The ride name is incredible, in my opinion. Fits perfectly with the theme of the Tomorrowland Music Festival. And overall, I couldn't be more happy with it. So... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news and update. Stay tuned for more videos over the next few days. Reviews. Uh, we're going to have a reaction video that's been uploaded soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, over the next couple of uh, few days, couple of days, few days, so stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Chow, Caitlin in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a plop-satastic day.